Assalamu alaikum guys welcome back to smart programmer I hope you all are fine today I am back with a new video and in this video I am going to create a searchable combo box so one of the viewers request uh, was that to create a video in which we can add a search functionality to our combo box so on that request I am creating this video so I hope you will enjoy this so if you are new to my channel please subscribe to my channel and give a big thumbs up and share it with your friends so without any further delay let's jump into the video okay guys today in this video i'm not going to create a simple combo box because i have created two complete detailed videos on so i'll give the link in the description section and these are the two videos first is the simply how to create the combo box and second one is that how to bind the two widgets with one another so, um, so these videos will be quite helpful to you so please go and first see one of the video and then come back so first i am going to run this program to show the outcome so this is the output this is how we can create a simple combo box and these are the items in the combo box these are the names of the computer languages so you can see here here we have passed all these languages so in this video i'm just directly jumping on the main function which is how to add the search functionality to our list box or a combo box so first i am using here a def keyword def search this is the name of my function and now i'm passing a parameter or an argument which is event right and now i'm declaring a variable which is value and now i'm using that uh, argument which is event dot widget w i d g e t dot get by using the widget dot get method we will get the uh, word whatever we will be writing in that search field if value is equal equals to nothing you know an empty field so just show the combo box and the values value is equals to the list right so just show nothing and but the list itself so as i have written nothing let's for example so in that case just show the list because there is uh, we haven't typed anything in that uh, you know search field and now move on to the else part which is data i'm taking an empty array where i want to append the search result and for item in list if value dot lower why i'm using this lower method i'll tell you in a while if value dot lower in item dot lower so now i am appending the search result in that empty uh, array so data dot append and we i just want to append that item okay so now i am updating the combo box uh, with the uh, searched values so right here value and right here data okay guys i made a mistake over here you have to mention here values so correct this mistake so now i want this function to work on the combo box so for that now i'm using here a bind function which is combo box dot bind this bind method is used to uh, bind the methods and the functions with the events so uh, if you want to search the more details you can uh, google it and for now i am writing here key release comma and the name of my function make sure to remove these brackets so now let's run our program to see the final product so this is the list so this is the list and i am going to search the name with the p alphabet so p uh, sorry i have to remove this p e so it is not working i don't know why let's check it out and you can see here i forgot to give here the greater than and less than sign okay now let's run it and check whether it's working or not so i'm going to search about python language so p y and you can see here it's python and when i'm just writing p over here so, it's, so it is showing us the different names with the uh, alphabet p in it so this is how we can create a searchable combo box and this is the final product like java if i'm searching about j so java and js 
and uh, now i'm searching about p so python perl php asp so now it is functioning properly so i hope you like this video this is the code and i coded in front of you so so i hope you enjoyed this video and bye for now take care and allah hafiz